Ugh. What's next? Filing a lawsuit, of course. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to file a personal injury lawsuit, so let's dive in. Hey everyone, attorney Kyle Newman here. On this channel, I'm here to give you real life practical tips and insights for accident victims of all kinds. And since this is YouTube, make sure to subscribe to our channel so we can keep these hits coming. Let's dive in. You know, of the thousands of personal injury lawsuits that I've started and completed, I can tell you this, there is nobody who is prepared for an accident. Nobody who's prepared to be injured by the doctor or hospital that's treating you. And certainly no one's prepared to have your life turned upside down so unfairly and so suddenly as the people that we represent here every day. And that's exactly where we come in because look, most normal everyday people have no idea what to do after an accident or for that matter how to file a personal injury lawsuit so if you give me a few minutes of your time i want to show you exactly how so people come to personal injury lawyers like us in the first place because we are the experts we are experts in evaluating accidents and filing lawsuits on behalf of accident victims it's just what we do and what we start with is speaking to the victim. We investigate the accident, identify the parties that we're actually going to sue. We locate witnesses, obtain evidence, and yes, file the lawsuit, which is the starting point of every case that you see in the court system. And what any great personal injury attorney will tell you is that for the vast majority of cases, what happens in the days and the weeks immediately after an accident is the most important. That's why I tell everyone, and I'll tell you, the worst thing that an accident victim can do is to wait to speak to an injury attorney. And the main reason why I tell people this is because the victims of accidents are at such a disadvantage in the court process. Look, aside from the fact that the defendants are represented by insurance companies with endless resources, we are the ones who have the burden of proof. Meaning we have to establish all of the claims that we're making when we file a lawsuit in order to be successful and win. The defendants on the other hand, they don't have to do a thing because they have no burden of proof. So before filing a lawsuit, we first investigate. If it's a car accident, that means getting the police report, the insurance information, medical records, photos, witness statements. If it's a medical malpractice case, we have to get the hospital chart and the imaging studies and have them looked at by a doctor. If it's a premises liability case, we may need to hire an engineer to go to the scene to take scientific measurements and see what it is that caused that person to fall. And so after investigating the case, gathering the evidence, identifying who it is we're going to sue, we always research any possible legal issues that may come up and all of the causes of action that our client is going to have, which is going to be laid out in the lawsuit. So the legal documents which actually start a case is something called the summons and complaint. Now these two documents give the defendants notice that they're being sued as well as what the lawsuit is all about and the allegations that we're claiming have to be laid out and proven to win the case. And after we draft the summons and complaint, then we prepare the papers for service where one of those process servers will actually go out and serve that person or entity with the papers. And that starts the clock for them to answer the allegations that we have in the complaint. So once that's done, a request is sent to the courthouse where we actually get an index number, which keeps track of the case in the court system. And then the fun stuff really begins. It may seem like a lot, but filing personal injury lawsuits is something that we literally do every day. The most important thing for accident victims to realize is that there are time restrictions for these cases and when we can file them. So waiting before speaking to a lawyer is one of the worst things that you can do after an accident. All right, so that was a little glimpse into how personal injury lawsuits work and how they get started. Look, if you have any questions about any of this, leave them in the comments. Hit me up at my office. Look us up online and make sure to subscribe to our channel. I'll see you later. I got some lawsuits to go file.